What went wrong? The president and the judiciary were like buddies. They were pals. They were mates when he was sworn in. Mm. 13 months later, it looks like loggerheads. No, it's not loggerheads. We've just disagreed with it. He's disagreed with some of the decisions that they've made recently. It doesn't mean that he's a, an enemy of the judiciary now or that he has changed his mind. He has always supported the judiciary, the, the pledge even uh, uh, to, to make sure that they increase the budget of the judiciary, uh, give them the opportunity to hire more judges and so on. So, yes, that even as much as we support the judiciary or he supports the judiciary, what he, ha he can criticize them when they don't do right. And I think this was a case where, uh, because the housing project and the universal health care is actually an urgent need of millions of Kenyans. This is something that is so critical to the country that yes, when the court makes that decision and the court has made the decision in a vacuum, they should be able to look at world developments. Because even when we say about, uh, like I, I, I told you at the beginning, that Kenya signed the UN Convention more than 20 years ago for on social and economic rights. It, it has domesticated it. We have looked at what other countries have done. Because you should ask yourself, if you look at the Scandinavian countries, the UK, the US, Malaysia, Singapore, they have undertaken the, the affordable housing projects using the same methodology that we're using. So yes, the question is, are the judges, are, are they reading world developments and seeing how other countries have done it? What formula then do they want us to use? Because mm. well, they should give a proposal on what we should do to be able to provide affordable housing or universal health care to Kenyans. I like it when you say we again, uh, we as <laughs> No, no, I, for me, the, the thing is, I, I, campaigned, <laughs> I campaigned on the Kenya Kwanzaa uh, 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 plan. Mm -hmm. And those are the same things that we told Kenyans. Even when I was elected, I told Kenyans, we're going to push to ensure that you get affordable housing. In parliament, I was on the front line making sure that that law was in fact passed. Uh, Honorable Otienda Omolo here gave some, initially it was supposed to be a saving plan, which many people did not agree with, and then it was changed into a, into a levy. Mm. So yes, all of our, so when I say we, it's myself, and all those people who campaigned on that platform and on that promise to Kenya. Senior so Council. there's nothing wrong. Yeah. I belong to a political party. And those are the things I promised Kenyans.